Today, we're going to visit a stunning place, Parque Lage. It's located in one of the most upscale areas of Rio de Janeiro, in the southern zone, close to Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon, where we've previously filmed a video. If you haven't seen it yet, we'll provide a link at the end of this video for you to click and enjoy that beautiful spot. Additionally, Parque Lage is also very close to the Christ the Redeemer, which we've also covered in a video, and we'll provide a link to that at the end for you to watch. Parque Lage is intertwined with the history of Rio de Janeiro. In the time of colonial Brazil, it was an old sugar mill, and its lands extended to the shores of Rodrigo de Freitas Lagoon. The Ingenio del Rey belonged to Antonio Salima, the governor of Rio de Janeiro, in the 16th century. After 1660, it became the property of the Rodrigo de Freitas Mello family. In the mid-19th century, an English nobleman purchased a portion of the land and in 1840, hired English landscapist John Tyndall to design a romantic-style garden, inspired by European estates. In 1859, part of the estate became the property of Antonio Martins Lage. Over the years, the property changed hands, but in 1920, it was purchased by Antonio Martins Lage's grandson, the entrepreneur Enrique Lage. A lover of the arts, Enrique Lage fell in love with and married the Italian opera singer Gabriella Bessanzoni. To please his wife, he had a perfect replica of a Roman palace built and redesigned part of the landscape. This palace, which we'll show you in a moment, is frequented by tourists from Rio de Janeiro, other states, and even other countries. It's an architectural masterpiece that has served as a private residence and even a military headquarters. Today, it's a place for cultural gatherings and gastronomy. Two grand gates open onto Jardim Botanico Street, leading to paths lined with imperial palm trees that lead to the mansion designed by Italian architect Mario Vadral. The main facade features a prominent portico entirely covered in stonework. The gardens surrounding the house are part of the Tijuca National Park. They are geometrically organized, and the surrounding area encompasses 52 hectares of lush forest with a variety of species from the Atlantic rainforest, nestled on the slopes of Corcovado Mountain and next to the Botanical Garden. The eclectic architecture of the mansion, combined with the lifestyle of its residents, reflects the spirit of an era when the city's social life took place in salons like the Palace das Lage. From this period, you can still find some ruins of the old sugar mill on the Parquet Lage grounds. These values justify the designation of the green area and the surrounding architectural structures as landscape, environmental, and cultural heritage in 1957. Parque Lage captivates visitors who come here, whether it's for its cultural vibrancy or the opportunity to enjoy the bucolic atmosphere of its green area, which features a lake, artificial islands, rocai adorned bridges, a gazebo, and a grotto, all constructed to resemble rocks and tree trunks. You can even wander through one of the artificial caves and admire the aquariums embedded in the walls. The 12 tanks, the largest of which can hold up to 6,000 liters, house various fish species, with a focus on those from Brazilian river biomes. 
Today, with plenty of entertainment for all ages, including a playground, hiking trails leading to the Christ the Redeemer, fountains, picnic areas, and rest spots, Parquet Lage invites those who wish to get up close with nature. Now, let's enter the star of this place. The mansion, built around a pool, features marbles, tiles, and tiles imported from Italy. Decorative paintings in its salons were done by Salvador Palo Sebate. The palace seat offers a unique experience for breakfast, lunch, and afternoon tea in a historic and elegant atmosphere. And of all the home that Here, you can savor gourmet dishes prepared with fresh, local ingredients while enjoying the breathtaking view of Parquet Lage. And after we visit the souvenir shop, where you can purchase a keepsake item, we'll go upstairs to explore the terrace and have an even more beautiful view of this place. I had money enough to spend, and leisure time to sit a while. There is a fair in this town. The mountain in front of us is where the Christ the Redeemer statue stands. The palace at Parquet Lage is more than just a restaurant, it's a sensory refuge. Parquet Lage and its palace are truly special places that celebrate history, culture, and gastronomy in a breathtaking setting. We invite you to visit this Rio de Janeiro treasure and experience a unique adventure that will captivate all your senses. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual visit to Parquet Lage and the Palace Seat. Don't forget to explore every corner of this magical place and savor every moment. Don't forget to leave a like and share our channel with friends. Until the next adventure.